Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. This is going to be a really quick unboxing of the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. It's a piece of equipment I received when paying for DaVinci Resolve uh, version 16. Now they're on version 17 now, and if you pay $295, not only do you get the studio version, but you also get the really cool speed editor. There's a couple of things I want to point out, a couple of stumbling blocks that I ran into when I first un unboxed this, uh, and I want to share them with you. So here we go, DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. You receive this box along with the version 17 DaVinci Resolve Studio when you pay $295. There are a couple of different resellers out there. You can buy it on Amazon as well. B&H uh, Photos also has it for sale. Now a couple of confusing things right off the bat. It says, Welcome to DaVinci Resolve 17 Studio. So then, I pulled out the box and you have your license key which you'll need to have plugged into your computer at all times and then you get your memory card which contains the DaVinci Resolve Studio and manual and before I forget the manual to the speed editor so it's a PDF in the documents folder and it's called New Features. It's not the main manual of 3,500 pages. So, and this has version 16 on it. So after you install version 16, you're gonna start it up and it's gonna prompt you to download version 17. That's important, why? Version 16 doesn't work with the editor. The speed editor just won't even come on. So there's a couple of things right off the bat. Hopefully that removes a little bit of stress knowing that information ahead of time. Okay, so let's do some unboxing. Here is the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. It's really feels pretty heavy, um, feels pretty solid. It has one port, a USB-C port, and a couple of uh, skid pads here. And it's not, it's not going to move around. I mean, it's it's pretty solid. Also in the box is some advertising, of course, um, telling you how to get started with the online manual and the latest software. Uh, some more advertising. Download Hollywood's most powerful color correction editor, blah, blah, blah. DaVinci Resolve 17. And a couple of stickers and a dual USB-C cable, which if you're a Windows user, that means you're gonna use this. If your machine has Bluetooth, Mac or Windows, you your Bluetooth connection. Okay, so case in point, if you have an older machine and it doesn't have USB-C, you're gonna have to buy an adapter if you wanna use the cable, if it doesn't have Bluetooth. If you've got a newer Mac, they come with USB-C. They also come with Bluetooth, so you have an option there. Okay, a couple of stumbling blocks here. As you know, when you receive something new like this, electronic, and it needs to be charged, which the speed editor does come with internal batteries, you're gonna need to plug it in to a USB-C charging port. So hopefully you've got a charging block that accepts USB-C. Happens to be the latest iPhones, at least version 11, uh, does have a USB-C charging block. The next thing is, when you plug it in and start charging it, there are no indicator lights anywhere on here that show it's accepting a charge or that it's fully charged. No indicator lights, so don't be confused by that. I would let it charge overnight. Next thing, is if you do have a Mac and you launch your system preferences and your Bluetooth uh, console, then when you search for your keyboard, make sure you touch at least one key to wake it up. And then you'll see the DaVinci Resolve keyboard listed as one of your Bluetooth devices. 
For a Windows machine, it would be the same thing, except you'd go into settings and you would go into your Bluetooth or add a device, Bluetooth device, and then you should see the DaVinci Resolve keyboard. Doesn't say speed editor, DaVinci keyboard. If you're using the cable, then it should connect and it also charges via the cable. From what I've read online, the batteries, uh, if you're using Bluetooth all the time, will last you a full day if you use it all day long. So, sounds like something you're gonna have to charge frequently and you can't change out the batteries. There's no on off switch. It goes to sleep on its own and then you press any key which will wake it up. So these are all things that I found out online by searching forums, searching online for information, how to turn your DaVinci Resolve speed editor keyboard on. Next thing, let's talk about Bluetooth. Nowhere in the manual did I read anything about Bluetooth and there isn't any Bluetooth symbols on the device itself. However, if you look down at the fourth paragraph, it mentions both Bluetooth and USB control. And sure enough, it talks about Bluetooth and how it works, you know, without wires versus USB connection. So at least you know that uh, that's available. Uh, there's no indication that it's connected via Bluetooth. However, there is an indication that it is connected to your software by one of these three lights. It's only one at a time. You're either shuttle, jog, or scroll. And that goes whether or not you're using the USB-C or Bluetooth and DaVinci Resolve 17. So don't get hung up with that either. If you're using DaVinci Resolve 16, you have that installed, you fire it up. Oh, I wanna use my Resolve now. I don't wanna jump into 17 quite yet. Won't work. This is only for DaVinci Resolve Studio version 17. So Casey Ferris does a really good job of getting into the weeds on how to use this. Um, I'll also add an, a second link of another YouTuber that did a great, really great job of going over the details of this device. But I would definitely recommend it for $295. You're basically getting this really nice keyboard that takes the place of your keyboard and mouse when you're creating your videos. These are all the keys that you're gonna use most of the time. And this is only for the cut page. Very little capabilities in the edit page currently. Uh, let's see if I forgot anything. Well, again, this was just a simple unboxing and a very brief overview of some of the stumbling blocks I ran into. I hope it's gonna help you out. I hope you found this video and you, you were trying to find answers and you stumbled across this video and I hope it helps you. So good luck out there. Have fun. Have fun making videos. See you again.